lifting up Jesus and opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, the United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. In any situation, in any time or any culture, whether or not the people are online or not, if a believer or if a Christian woman is unable to find fellowship, which happens in Muslim countries, it happens in other countries due to persecution, the Lord will take care of that believer and that situation. It is a unique circumstance. Yes, the Lord will be your covering, and you do the best you can with his help, by his grace, in your situation. But those circumstances are the exception. They are fortunately, in the Western world, not the norm. For people who cannot find a church, my encouragement is to meet in a home with other believers and let the Lord raise something up, if that is possible. Now, again, I do accept there are exceptional circumstances where the Lord will very graciously intervene on behalf of that believer to do the best they can in the circumstances through no fault or choice of their own they find themselves in, that is for sure. But it must be a legitimate circumstance. It can't be something we manufacture to find an excuse to be out of fellowship. If your circumstances legitimately are those, the Lord will look after you in them, and yes, you just do the best you can, which in your case is to find solid teaching online. But again, that is not the norm. What we have today are marriages that are dishonoring to Christ, where the wife is the head, not the husband. Where the wife is wearing the trousers and the husband is wearing his wife's skirt. And men are even defending their wives being teachers and pastors. This is dishonoring to the Lord based on Ephesians. The husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church. It is again the feminism of the secular world coming into the church, corrupting what is to be a reflection of Christ's headship over his bride, the church, undermining what God has ordained. That is a separate circumstance. If you are a widow who has no fellowship and can't find a good church where you live, you have no husband, the Lord will take care of you in your situation. You can rest assured of that. You rest in that and trust him. But continue to pray that he will allow you to find fellowship. At this point, that may be cyber fellowship, which is better than nothing. Nonetheless, you continue to pray, even if you met with one or two other believers who are doctrinally like-minded in your area, and you just met in a home in a small group. Some fellowship is better than none. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless.